Hello everyone, this is Fallout 4 and today we are going to build a structure, not a shack, mostly like a house for us, for the most part out of wood. Okay, so uh, let's start doubling into it. Okay, so we're gonna go to structures, first of all. As you can see, you also can build one of metal, but we're gonna go with wood. I kind of like wood more. So, first thing you kind of want to do is set up floors. I usually use this type of floors. And the best way on this, um, I guess, I don't know, foundation is actually to start with the floor. You're going to need to align as best as you can right about this small stairs as you enter the, the foundation. This should be about it, I guess little more there we go this should be like the first one now we're gonna want another one over there and we're gonna stop uh, with this for now we don't want to go to the rest of the foundations we want to go um, to the prefabs actually the modules this is an already built module okay now over here and not like that, we want to see it. Oh, this is a for, for, for the most part complete. No, no. This is the one we're actually looking for. Okay, so we want this to be put there. And another one over here. There we go. And uh, now we're going to go back to foundations again to fill up the, all the gaps. I haven't really done this a lot of times. Uh, so if things are going to go wrong, uh, don't get too mad, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna put one of that there, and uh, for the mo uh, I think the, the corners are gonna stick anyways, but let's be sure, because um, uh, I tried to experiment, experiment a bit before I actually made the clip, and some stuff do doesn't really work the logical way, at least not for my logic. Uh, I guess that says something about my logic, right? Okay, so right now... What do I mean about doesn't go logically? Well, some corners, some uh, prefabs or, I don't know, modules. I'm going to call them modules, all of these all that I'll already build. Uh, this will be just structures, I don't know, random structures or whatever. So the modules, some of them, don't really fit the way they should. I mean, on one part they fit, but on the other one they don't really. And the conditions are pretty much the same, it's just that it's on the other side of the building. And you don't have any restrictions as you build uh, the building itself. Basically, the only restriction is uh, the quantity of the material you have to build the said, uh, I don't know, structure. Like you can see right here, we have wood 3000 and something and steel 7000 and something. And it consumes uh, 8 wood and 2 steel. If you don't have enough of these, you're not going to be able to build it. Another uh, thing that can actually stop you from building is the um, in the in your uh, right corner of the screen you have size. If you have a lot of stuff built it, uh, build it, yeah, uh, built within the um, boundary of the settlement, and it's pretty much filled up, you're not going to be able to construct anymore. Okay, so we've put the first uh, pieces of the modules. Now I kind of want the stairs. And the best way to actually do that is with the, oh no that way this way in the in the floors you're going to find this this is a pretty good stair now because we already set uh, a foundation over here which kind of is in our way we're just going to delete it and then put the stairs over here now we're gonna choose the direction of it we're kind of gonna go I guess the other way around if it's going to permit it. No, you're not gonna... There we go. So it'd be much more easier to come about as we just enter the building. Because this is going to be like uh, the, the entrance. It's not gonna be perfectly aligned with the stairs, but I don't really care about that that much. Uh, we're gonna want a back uh, entrance and a, I guess, I don't know, front entrance or something like that. And for the entrances, we're gonna go to walls. I'm usually going, for the most part, I'm gonna use this type of walls. I like this type of walls. I don't know. I guess you can condemn me or something, but I really do like this type of walls. There we go. Let me show it for from, uh, I, don't know, I don't know, like close up. It's, pr it's basically, um, it's actually more steel than wood. 
uh, I did say we're not going to use only wood, but I like it more, the look of it, I don't know, it's, I, mean, I guess, uh, not so many holes in it or something like that. Because the wooden or the planked or, I don't know, scrap or whatever you want to call it, uh, walls are not that extraordinary, at least as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I can, as you can see, um, these modules are a bit, I guess, I don't know, smaller than... Um, this foundation with stairs, that's not going to be a problem, we can set foundations of this type from down below just over them, so that's not going to be the problem. The problem is going to be to set the walls in such a way that there is no gap between the upper level and the wall itself. Okay, so now let's search for uh, that door. I usually use this one. I guess uh, it would be uh, much more um, you know, perfectly to align it with the rest to use one of these but I don't know I, I, it's just like I don't really fill it with this one they're a bit um, different in color and I don't know I guess I could show it to you guys but I don't really use them that much I prefer the wooden uh, the wooden uh, structure for the for the doors and I have a lot of doors to, to place within the, the frame, so that's not going to be a problem usually. I'm going to set the, the doors to face each other. Um, that's good and bad at the same time, so it's not really a, that big of a problem. I'm going to let this as a gap, you'll see why in just a sec. Now let's set some old walls around so we can actually... Um, no, actually the, here I'm going to let the gap this way. There we go. Here's going to be the gap for this part. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have any gaps over here. Because, uh, oh, actually we could do with a gap over here. I don't really see because of the structure I have in my front. Yeah, I guess we could just, I guess, go with it. Mm, no, we're going to block this entirely. Hmm. Then again, I kind of want to see what's going to be there. Okay, we'll leave that as it is right now. So there we go. We have a bit of uh, this is pretty much started to take shape. The first floor. Uh, don't take into account the gaps. <laughs> okay, now let's go back to flooring again. Not that way. This way. Let's go back to the floors that we actually use. And now we can uh, try to set them. Actually, that's not the one that I should use. Yeah, this is, would be a problem. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna leave this just to be to have uh, as an example, and we're gonna go up. There we go. Oh, that way. I'm going to set floors just like the ones below, uh, on top of the already, I guess, uh, still. Um, roofs that were from the modules and we're going to go now to let me see if this is the right one yeah this is the right on this type of floor it's like a double floor of sorts you're gonna see why uh, basically the one that we set here is not going to be a problem but if you would set this um actually we I can, actually no not i think i can oh yeah we can do it uh, in the front I can still show you why we're going to need to use these instead of those. They consume a bit more material and doesn't seem to want to fit. Come on, I know you can fit. Oh well, doesn't matter. Actually, we could save some uh, material over there. We're not going to be able to set it here. That's why it doesn't fit because it's a bit um, uh, larger. So let's go back to this. We're going to set one over here. We should set one over there. And if we're going to put this in the middle, there we go, I'm gonna go down. As you can see, there's a gap. So you need to use the double floors. They are the ones necessary for, uh, I guess, binding the walls. Especially when you're gonna build a structure with uh, more than one floor. Okay, we can actually use one of the small ones over here to save some materials. I think at least we're saving some materials. I don't really know as much as the. So this is an eight wood with two steel, and the small and uh, normal floor. It's a uh, eight wood with two steel. So basically, we don't save anything. It just looks different and closes up the gap that we don't want. There we go. Right now we have like a perfect uh, floor with stairs for uh, reaching it. We could set two type of stairs though. 
uh, there's no problem about that either but i don't really want to use up the space with the, the foundation with the stairs okay now what's with this uh gaps okay so we're gonna go, go back to prefabs and we're going to look actually to this uh actually this is the one that made problems for me uh, I kind of like them. I set them uh, for like uh, one of the foundations and uh, to be a bit out of the structure so you can have like a small balcony to an observing uh, area. But they didn't really fit all over the place. Okay, what are we actually looking for? Apparently it's not here. Hmm. Where were those though? I think they were here. I kind of remember them here now. The walls, yeah, they should be around here. This is where... Ah, there we go. This is the one we're actually looking for. Eh, come on. And if it's going to let me... There we go. Of one over here. One over here. Come on, click already. There we go. And one over here. And that should be about it with them. Come on, move. There we go. Now, you're gonna think, okay, this is nice and dandy. You can see through it. You have like uh, windows and you can uh, really scout the area. But everybody is going to be able to walk into your house just like this. Basically, that's true. But we are going to close this part. Still with on uh, the wood section. If I'm not wrong. Oh, no, no, no not, not on the wood section. We're gonna go all the way to the miscellaneous. So the structure was miscellaneous and there we go over here we're just going to use this small piece of uh i don't know i guess you could call it a fence or something not that easy to actually use it especially because of the uh, i think this is actually well placed i don't really even know you try to set it inside of it directly now this is the way to face it can we place it inside? Kinda hard to actually do this. It's gonna take a bit of time and adjustments. But for the most part, let's see how it looks. It should be just fine. There you go. It's like, wow. This is like pretty perfect as, as far as I'm concerned. And if you're gonna do this to all of them, now nobody's going, nobody's going to be able to get into your house, even if they jump. So there you go. You actually have more uh, for this. You have more than just this uh, this piece uh, on the walls part. You should there should be the walls. There we go. No, not that way. Oh my god. Hmm? There we go. These pieces of wood can actually block an entire area uh, like this. But then you're not going to be able to see through it. So. Um, the area of, uh, I don't know, observation is going to be a bit more closed. Not that bad, especially on the lower floors. You can actually put this and just put the, the small piece for the, um, I guess, the upper levels when you're going to want to have more area to actually watch around or look around. So, you kind of get what I'm saying. Okay, um, I'm going to stop with the, the planks because they take a lot of time. I'm going to do that off camera. I'm going to finish it. I'm going to show you the end result, I guess. I'm gonna uh, see it as I play because this structure is most likely going to uh, remain here. I'm not going to delete it or anything. Now we already set this uh, um, basis. Now if we're gonna go back to the modules, because we set this play, uh, this uh, already uh, set. I don't know uh, modules. We're not really going to be able to uh, set another one. As you can see, it doesn't really want to stick at all actually uh, you could just place it as it is but if we're going to delete this at least last time i tried it things worked it sticked there you go you have it again and as you can see you can really build off from it from all of these actually you can really go uh, i don't know like i guess you can call it like a mushroom or something i don't know um, so the first level is going to be a bit smaller and all the others are going to go really uh, far out from the uh, main structure. Okay, now let's go back. Let's... Uh, come on, stick. There you go, it's sticked. Come on. Are you going to make me do this? Oh, don't tell me you're not going to want to do this. 
Like I said, some ah, it did, but I just need to fiddle with it a bit. Okay, so let's see. They should be much all the same. My God, don't tell me I can't really set this in place. Apparently, because of the stairs, it doesn't really want to stick into its. Ah, for a moment it did. As you can see, you really have to take your time to, to place this, um, these structures. I guess we're losing a lot of time, so I'm gonna do this off-camera. Uh, okay, for uh, the what we wanted and what I wanted to show you is actually already in place. Now, we're gonna go to the walls. Actually, no, let's go to directly... Yeah, actually, it is the walls, but not that way, this way. And put ourselves some more balconies the, um, that we all, um, already shown you, showed you about. I can actually find, find them. There we go. There they are. Uh, there are also these small corner pieces. You can uh, really fiddle with them. You can put more than one next to each other. It's pretty nice, but I kind of like more uh, this uh, this type of balcony. Okay, so uh, we already have one below. We're kind of gonna go this way now. There we go. We're gonna want to put one like over here it's not uh, below we don't have it like this so they're a bit different from the um, uh, lower area and we are gonna want over here to have one this way because i'm kind of want to build the market over here with all the shops and everything this is going to be unfortunately our uh, principal base why do i say unfortunately well mainly because come on i don't want to fall down there we go. Uh, and uh, well, since I said that you, uh, you can actually play with this, I'm going to show it to you. There we go. Come on. Not down there. Over here. Oh my god. Why did I did... Um, I guess the second balcony over here? Because this is going to be the main area for, for pretty much everything, as far as I'm concerned, at least right now. I don't know. May, uh, there's uh, still... A, a I guess another place we can build about there. I don't know what we're gonna do there. We'll see. But for the most part, this is the main area for the for the encampment. This is going to be like the center of it all, uh, for me. Uh, most of the shops are going to be set there, uh, so pretty much everybody can actually uh, go to them. And I'm guessing this is going to be the main structures. Okay, I'm not gonna go uh, with the third level. Uh, if I'm going to do that, it's just going to be something like pretty small, nothing too big, not too fancy. And um, I guess with that being said, we're gonna see each other when all of this is actually finished. Okay, so we're back. We kind of finished the entire building. We've set it up all of these uh, small panels. We've uh, replaced the wall with the doors, set up doors, the ones that I like the most. This is kind of a bit, I guess, crooked, in the meaning that, in the meaning that you're kind of, I don't know, bashing your head towards it or on it as you just go up, but it's the most efficient way I found to place it. And we actually made like a small, uh, I don't know, um, roof. Where you can actually sit quietly, sipping a drink, uh, taking your barbecue, bring some trash and have a seat with your sniper in your hand, just in case someone tries to come over the river. We also have a radio over here. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't really kind of got it into furnishing my home. Uh, we're gonna have to f uh, first um, accomplish the, all of the defenses and then we'll go about it. I don't know, I, I like... Uh, entirely setting up shop i guess okay with that being said if you enjoyed the clip give it a big like if you want to see more subscribe and if you want to see more building uh, episode just uh, give me a notice